Welcome, Green Magickers! We are in the frozen tent. My name is Ribby Boy, and this is the People's Channel, where we keep it raw and real, baby. It's the only way to keep it and 100. So, yes, we are in the 4x4 tent, guys, the frozen tent with all the frozen strings. I even have the fans turned off, a lot of the fans. So you guys will be able to hear me a lot better. Now this is the problem tent, guys. This has been the problem tent. The 4x4 tent by Spider Farmer. The tent hasn't been a problem, but the plants have been giving me a problem. I mean, we are working in the 4x4 Spider Farmer tent, like I just said. You just said that, Ribby. <sighs> Powered by the SE7000, guys. 730 watts of raw power, man. You gotta love that. So we are on day two of flower, guys. Yep, that's right. I was gonna, I was about to say day three. I thought it was day three, but it's not. It's day two of flower. I treated these twice, two more times. No, no, sorry. I treated them one more time, guys, with the um, with the safers. I, I mean, I went to town. I drenched them, so I'll give you guys a good look here. Well, first things here, humidity, 60%, 77 degrees, um, I'll take it. If it gets much higher, I'll be turning on the uh, dehumidifier, and I'll probably turn it on anyways, drop these numbers down. And it lets off a lot of heat, so it's perfect at this time. When it started to just get chilly, I can turn on the dehumidifier, and it will add heat and drop the humidity. You guys see, I keep a AC over there. It goes into that window. Now, a lot of people were saying too, guys, if you remember the thrips, I had thrips on these plants. That's what I was talking about. Well, first things first, these are four photo period strains by reverse genetics, guys. You can get the same genetics if you guys need. Reversegenetics.ca, tell them Ribby Boy sent you. You'll get a deal, use the chat bubble. And bada bing, bada boom, there you go. So you can get all these same ones. And that is frozen, or no, Dante's Cherry. Dante's Cherry and Frozen Gary. <laughs> frozen Gorilla and Frozen Marker. But look at them today, guys. Definitely the thrips were making them sick. I, oh, I got the trellis net in here too. Now we vegged. So much stuff to touch on, guys. It's hard. I just shoot this off the top of my dome. So, you know, I don't write everything down. I probably should. It would make it easier. But I just like to f just do it freely, right? It seems more authentic to me when it's like that. So we vegged for 42 days. Then we flipped into flower because, as you see, they're getting too big. So I don't like to flip plants unless they're 100%. But it's better that than running out of room and it's just getting even worse. So... I said, screw it, I'm gonna flip. So we flipped them. I sprayed them right down with the safer spray. You guys, uh, that stuff right there. And now I've went over them very finely and I can't find a single thrip, guys. So I, it seems to have done the trick. If not, it's at least damn well slowed them down. Now people were saying like they could, they cut, they can come from outside, off the cat, all kinds of stuff in the soil. Now it's funny because that's been closed been sealed shut with for the air conditioning the whole time soon as that's been open the last week like wide open i had it all of a sudden i have thrips it's boonville out there guys like there's trees grass everywhere out there right so well like anywhere i'm sure but it's like i mean i'm not like right in a city right so there's a lot of bugs man i'm killing spiders in here all the time so we sprayed them right down and I've done nothing they, because we soaked them last time, right? Now they're dry now, they need to be watered. And you can see, they're praying now. Look at that. They actually look pretty damn, pretty damn good if you ask me. That one looks great. That one's having no issues. You can tell it's starting to get hungry though. And this one too. They need more food. They definitely need more food. We're gonna give them a light feeding and then really that's gonna be it. Now each plant is topped, like I said, 42 days. I'll show you guys the medium that we have in here in a second when I go out there. Now they're all photo periods, like I said. And from seed, we topped each one once and then I start implementing 
the staircase training with the bud clips. I have my own style of staircase training. I didn't really do it with this, just a couple, a couple of steps, a two step. But you can like literally cover a whole tent with one plant. This plant would have been awesome to do that with. Now I exhaust with a six inch spider farmer exhaust with the controller. They got new controllers and all that stuff, guys. And I keep it on setting five. It's off right now. Keep an oscillating fan there blowing around. Another one down there blows directly under the canopy. So pretty, pretty awesome. Now I'm gonna take you guys out and we're gonna mix up some nutrients. We're gonna come out to where the magic happens in green magic. So we will be using, well, three part guys. General hydroponics three part. I'm trying to think if we should, if we should just mix it for veg or if I should start. No, we'll have to put a little extra, a little extra of the red one in. So, this is where the magic happens in green magic, guys. 6.8. What's that one? Oh, that's that one down there. So, hmm. Peach is already done. I'm not going to use that one. We're going to take out a little bit out of this one, and then we're going to mix it in this one. Now, I use a paw fly to bubble the water. It gets the chlorine out and other crap. Oxygenates the water. You get more oxygen at the root zone. Blah, 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 all that good stuff. So it's a paw fly. You can search on Amazon. Blue Lab Guardian does the pH, PPM, water temperature, all that stuff, guys. It does it all. Plugs into the wall. Never runs out of power. And it's own handy long tentacles. And it's got a built-in truncheon meter, like I said, to tell your nutrient strength. So, we're going to give it a minute here to see what the pH is. Well, it doesn't matter actually. We're going to get some out of here. They're going to need quite a bit, so we got a good 10 liters right there. Now, you're going to start with the brown one, guys, the micro. What the heck was that? Give it a little shakety shake, and then... It'll go pretty well to those. Now... A little stir. Always mix in this in this order, guys, because you'll cause lockout if you don't. Now we go veg. So we're gonna go a little less veg than we are flour. It's already putting us at 500. So that's uh yeah, we're good. Come on. You can do it. I think we're gonna go just a, just a day -ish more, guys. Oh, look at that, the pH is perfect too. So, we're going to be around 840, 850, 6.3 pH. That's pretty damn good, guys. That's not too shabby at all. I know you guys want to say hi to this peckerhead. Hi, you're always sleeping when they're here, Ginge. Your friends are here to say hi, and you're always freaking sleeping, man. Why? Well, guys, 6.4 is out the door. First, I wanted to show you guys, that's the medium that is in those with all of that stuff i do not like it and i think it likes a higher ph like this so i think that's i think that's really going to be really decent there guys so let's grab the whole 10 liters and head in a feeder step two remove tentacles yeah and you guys made me think so carting it back and forth to grab the whole bucket right and yeah, if you guys are buying anything, it's all in the first pinned comment. If you're getting yourself equipment like Tent City, if you want to have your own Tent City. I love showing this. That's every sticker I've collected over the years. And welcome to Tent City. Any new people? Six tents. Beautiful. No, my hydro isn't a lot. I don't know why people constantly think that, guys. It's only 2,400 watts in total. And half the time they're all turned down, right? 
So there's no TV in here, nothing guys. So my hydro bill is usually around 200 to $250 Canadian a month. Just so then people don't have to ask. You guys know, I keep it real, man. I'll freaking share anything with you guys. You guys are like my family. So anything you guys want to know, you just drop a comment below, man. Drop a comment for the giveaway. We'll be doing another giveaway. Packages went out. So everybody's going to be blessed by the time you've seen this. I'm sure everybody's gotten theirs already. Shout out to, shout out to Reverse. Now each one is going to get a three liter feeder. That's right. That's right. Well, garden gangsters. They definitely should like that. If they don't start to look nice and plump and plump plump, well, then I don't know what to do. You guys hear it's a cricket in here. <laughs> oh, there's a cricket somewhere in here. He must have escaped my spider. I have a gargantua tarantula in my living room, guys, and he eats crickets, and he must have let one get away, but. Holy crap, man. It's getting warm in here without the fans on, guys. So, that's it for today. I know this is going to be another long one. Don't skip ahead. There's lots more to come, guys. This video should cover quite a bit. So, see you in a second. Well, gardeners, we are back at day six of flower. I think we're going to use this to just kind of support the buds a little bit. I'm not going to, like, you know, weave them in there too much like, you know, people do like I usually would do to, to uh, you know, kind of get the, the canopy more even or whatnot. We're just gonna leave it just for support because I might want to pull them out there. It's gonna be a pain to get in there, especially back there to trim that one up. So I don't want them to be locked in there with the, uh, with the trellis net, right? While we're here, we can remove some of the stuff down here. The color is coming back, guys. They look like they're... Uh, as soon as I sprayed them down, I can't find a single thrip. It seems to have killed the thrips off. They did not like that, but as you see, they're praying. They're looking really great, actually. Except for just a little bit of colors off. So, just a wee bit now, guys. I'm, we're going to hit it with a feed today. I know that seems like a lot, but they need it because... You can see this one's getting a little bit more general yellowing. That one's perfect. Look at that one. She's loving it. She took that feed up and loved it. But uh, yeah, I think we're uh, getting them right back on track here, guys. They're going to go through a lot of nutrients now, especially with the stretch. They're getting a little bit of a stretch going, as you can see. Not too crazy. And we're going to hit them with about a thousand PPMs of a flowering, flowering mixture I make up. Oh, yes, you guys, temps and humidity are not too shabby. I'll take that. It's not too bad. And all I ask is that everybody please try to be patient with me, guys. Like, if you've seen how many emails, DMs I get, uh, texts, it's just it's gotten really crazy with the memberships lately, too, guys. So I feel like, you know, 24-7, I'm just constantly on social media. On the weekends, I come back. Saturday morning, I get up and I do my thing all day long. And then I try to take the weekend off from, you know, Saturday night on and just chill until Monday because it's just not healthy doing this 24 seven and being on social media 24 seven and not having a life as you guys seen. I put my heart and soul into this. So trying to like, you know, just take a little bit of time for myself and people you know, get upset. Well, I guess not really upset. They just kind of annoyed thinking I'm, I ignore them. I've got that quite a bit lately. And no, I get, try to get around to everybody. It's hard, guys. It's very hard. So just be patient is all I ask. You guys know I got nothing but love for you guys, man. You guys are the reason I'm here. Without you guys, this channel would be nothing. So you guys are always my first priority. Now, what we're doing, take a little bit off down here. Bud, bud clips 
worked pretty decent. Now, we seemed, they seemed to bounce back, like I said, as soon as we sprayed them with some thrips, the thrip, or, um, the safers. The thrips are definitely wreaking havoc. I can't find another single one, guys, and I have searched. So, just removing a few leads. That one is beautiful. It's looking really great. Because as you see, the color's all coming back. We're going to hit them with about a 1,000 PPMs. Because they need it, guys. They haven't had anything. I haven't done nothing in the last, what, three days or something? So they're just getting dried up now. And they could use a feed. So we got a perfect amount enough right here, guys. And we're going to mix it up. pH is at 8.1. Oh, no, that's down there. Uh, we'll move that in a second. So, the three part, like always, I'm going to start with the floor micro. Let's see. We're going to go a little, a little more. Three this time, guys. Three. Wow, that put it to 600. Holy, I wasn't expecting it to go that high. That's okay. Now, veg next. Just a little, a little more. Because they're gonna need, they're gonna need that extra little bit for the stretch right and then after that they shouldn't really need much much uh nitrogen we might have to add a little more water to this actually we're gonna go with it guys 1170 pH it should be right around perfect okay 6.1 that's a little low pH up this is um this is TNB's pH up forgot the name I just put it in a shaker bottle makes it much easier there we'll have to give this a, a second guys All right, I stared it for a minute and we're at 6.4. Out the door. Get rid of these. And we'll grab all 10 liters and head in the feeder. If I can get this off. Oh my God. Let's do it. Whoa, and here we are guys. We got all 10 liters. Oh. Don't spill it. Now I'm not going to run off. My camera just like, it's like it winked at me there. We're not going to run off guys. I know it's probably, now the, well, the whole science to run off is because with salts, man, I'm just a messy freaking, I'm a messy dude today. Now, it'll come down and it will dry. Like, say it comes down here and the salt, you know, it all puddling down as it dries, right? It can create salt buildup. So, it's good if you're not getting your feeds like bang on, especially, like, it, you can end up getting salt buildup, is what I'm trying to say, guys. So, but it's not needed. You can still do a grow without having to go to runoff, but it's just to avoid salt buildup. So, and you know what? I'm not going to make you guys watch a whole nother watering. We're just going to do three liters each. I'm going to go through this whole pail. And really, that is going to be it for today, guys. It's a, that's a strong feeding. We'll see how they react. 
I've given more. I've given that much to seedlings before, and they're fine. So I don't think I've ever really burnt a plant up, guys. It takes a really lot to burn a plant up. So I think they look pretty good. I think they look a lot better than they were looking last week, guys. So, hi there, you have it, billionaire botanist. We'll be back tomorrow, and I'll get this up for you guys. We'll see how they, we'll see how they look tomorrow, how they react. Well, hello, gardeners. We are back the next day, 24 hours later, and look at that. Look at that. Look at the difference in 24 hours, guys. Isn't that incredible? So the pad, like the Wi-Fi was out. I didn't even think I was going to be able to get this up. And thank God they fixed it. The whole building is down, guys. Look at that. Oh, my God. That is just awesome. The color has come back almost 100%, guys. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Someone was saying last video, oh, that's too much. You're giving it too much. That seems like a high dose. No, it needs more. That's what I said. It needs to be up around the 1,200 ppm range. Now, we were at 1160, wasn't it? If I had to hit this with even a couple hundred more ppm, I think they would have been 100% today. I'm blown away. I am so blown away with how much these have come around in the last 24 hours. Wow, guys. But uh, that's going to be it. We got nothing else to do. I just wanted to show you guys. I had a feeling that that was going to help. Give you guys a good shot. And that is going to be it for today, guys. So drop a comment, drop a like, and I will see you guys below. Don't get scammed in the comments either. Signing off.